Hello and welcome. I'm Andy Beach and we are today looking at my Behringer Q802 USB. So, there, I know there's a couple of uh, other reviews out there on the, uh, the Behringer Q802. Let's just get this to focus. Uh, USB, but I thought I'd do my own. Uh, tell you guys how I'm been getting on with it. I've had it for roughly about six to seven months now, and it's been quite, quite a good little mixer. Um, so the reason I use it is actually for uh, streaming and videos like this. As you can see, the light going up and down, and it's indicating it's in use. So a couple of things to start with. So the Behringer Q82 offers eight inputs. Um, let's see, because it's in use, it's a little bit difficult to get. So we've got two yeah, XLRs. Uh, we've got lining three and four, uh, five and six uh, on this one. Actually, sorry, I think it only has. So it's only got six inputs, not eight. It's a bit. Just to from the name of the mixer. So yeah, it's only got six. So basically currently, as you can see there, I've got a microphone which I'm using now, plugged into XLR input one. Uh, you can also use uh, a quarter inch jack as well, if you've got one of the mics. Uh, and then I've got a spare mic, which is not actually plugged in as you can see. It's with XLR two. Uh, and then I've in fact got a big, uh, creative where I've had for streams and YouTube stuff where I've got um, a mono left and right um, RCA uh, to quarter inch I believe oh, or actually this one's just the quarter inch um, right and left inputs to the 3.5 millimeter but I forgot so I had to buy a little adapter allows me to connect them up uh, Charles put back in, in a minute um, and that allows me to get the audio from my PC or in fact any other object you want to because basically you can just plug like your phone into this uh, or console anything that takes 3.5 millimeter jack and just hook it up to your mixer let's get another spare one um, so what else have we got on this thing so we've got FX Send. Now I wasn't really 100% sure on how to use FX Send when I first had it. FX Send, basically, uh, I don't actually know the fully function, but I use it to send the audio from from the mixer to my stream PC down there uh, because I've got two PCs. So in fact, it's because it's USB uh, at the moment. Uh, it's going through the USB to my gaming room down there. So I needed another way of getting the audio from the mixer to the stream PC. And FXN allows you to do that. That is then controlled by this little knob here. I keep, sorry, keep covering the screen. Uh, so this knob here, which controls the volume. And then what you have to remember, which I didn't realize for ages, is you have to turn each of these different knobs to where you want them. So, for example, I might as well turn that one off. So, for example, I have the first mic on to the stream PC. Uh, so, that's on. The spare mic currently is off, so I just leave that off. Uh, the game audio, I leave that as full, and then I control it using the normal um, normal volume knob. Uh, and then this one's just, again, spare, so it's all off. So, it's quite good for that sort of thing. <coughs> it allows me to do... Like I say, it allows me to use two, the microphone in two different places at once. Uh, there are also different knobs on this. So you've got, if you can see them, you've got your gain to, for both the XLR microphones. And basically that allows you to control how much gain is going through the microphone. Um, and you've got compression. I'm not really 100% sure how to use compression. So if you want to let me know how the best way to use it in the comments below, then that would be great. You got that again for the two XLRs, obviously not on the others. Uh, you got your EQ, so you got a high, mid, and low, as well as your FX that I've just told you about, your pan, so that allows you to pan left and right. 
uh, between the two speakers if you want to. So, for example, if you're doing like the band, you could have left, uh, someone on the left, someone on the right, etc. And you've got pretty much the same all the way down. Um, and you've got a control room, phones out as well, so you can have headphones, or you can in fact do a control room, which I haven't yet worked out what to do with. Uh, so there are all your inputs are there, so your phones are there, the headphones are there, your control room, your main out there, and stuff like that. It does have two track, I'm not again, I don't know how to use that, I haven't used it. I did attempt to use it, it didn't work, so... Again, if you know how to use it, let me know in the comments below. It has also got different functions for the USB, because again, it's USB. So you've got two phones, it's control room, and two main mix. Now, that basically just gives the function of if you uh, want it to go to a certain thing, it will do just that thing. So it will basically turn off certain functions on the mixer and won't allow you to do other things. Now, the mixer is quite good as well. As I say, it has got. USB on the back, uh, USB on the back and power on the rear. Um, but it's been quite good, quite a good mixer for what it is. As you can hear, I see I'm here. Let's see, as you can hear and see as well. I suppose you can see the light. Um, I'm currently using it. Uh, so you can tell me what you think to the audio. Um, but yeah, it's a great little, great little um, bit of equipment. Uh, so that's been a little review on the Behringer Q802 USB. So let me know what you think about this video. Uh, let me know what I could improve in the video. And also, as I say, let me know about them little bits I asked about. And I shall see you all soon. Bye.